Hello, this is Tim. And uh, maybe like me, uh, you're looking forward to seeing the full interview uh, from opera of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex this evening. Um, of course, in the US, it's already been aired. In the UK, it's happening this evening. But we've already had a sort of preview of uh, some of the issues here, and they seem to fall into three categories. And they're all important. One is particularly alarming. Um, the idea that there is racism in high places in the UK is simply appalling. The idea that um, honesty uh, is not um, held um, in the highest esteem in, um, in the palace is appalling. Um, the, the, the revelation that um, Archie was denied a title rather than that um, the Sussexes chose not to um, allocate him one um, is simply staggering. Um, and the fact that um, Meghan was faced with the threat of, uh, of her son not having proper protection. Uh, this is deeply, deeply shocking. Um, However, um, I can understand how um, going through these things last year, uh, the Duchess of Sussex uh, felt in despair. And so the third and most alarming revelation uh, that she had suicidal thoughts, this is deeply, deeply disturbing, particularly as it comes at a time when we are promoting the idea of seeking uh, support um, for mental health issues um, and uh, I myself of course I, I, I have seen the sort of box ticking uh, regimes that go on um, and a lot of this is about it is taking advantage of our ignorance we are a society that doesn't really understand in the UK particularly um, the uh, um, the qualifications and the intricacies of psychiatric support, um, and, uh, and 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 if a company is by law required to offer psychological support, um, we aren't that um, we aren't that aware of who is giving it. Um, and uh, I think equally, not only are we uh, not aware, the, um, the, the businesses who are providing that support are not necessarily aware. Um, there is a miasma of ignorance and that needs to be um, blown away. And I hope this is an opportunity to do so. Um, people with inadequate qualifications should really not be looking after other people's mental health. And if somebody were to say publicly that they have had suicidal thoughts, um, this is not a time uh, to, be, um, to be ridiculing them or questioning them. This is a time to reach out and offer support. So I am, this is really the point of, 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 of this little thing today. Um, I'm simply shocked. Um, by the manifestation on breakfast time TV, national television, um, without a, um, a rider from the television channel um, uh, sort of qualifying this, that uh, when um, Megan um, said that she had had suicidal thoughts, um, I can't even begin, I can't even bring myself to name this person on, uh, on YouTube now, um, I'm so appalled by his behaviour. Uh, this is, let's call him the bully of breakfast broadcasting. Get some alliteration in there. Um, uh, I, this particular person um, was anchoring the programme. I don't know about whether I got all my consonants right there, but um, maybe I require one extra. Um, but the, it's just, Thoughtless, thoughtless both of that particular person who should have journalistic ethics, who should have 
um, uh, um, who should be aware of the impact of what he says. Um, but equally, the television programme itself should be aware of the impact, the wider impact of um, that sort of abusive um, comment. It is abusive. And uh, uh, so when somebody says that they've had suicidal thoughts, you reach out. And in these days of lockdown, it's a virtual hug and sympathy, kindness, compassion, and also admiration for the bravery of somebody who can highlight this issue. Um, but um, to say that, um, uh, to, 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 to ridicule it, not to believe it, to um, question it, on national media is heartless, wrong, contemptible, and um, and it needs calling out for what it is. It's it, it, it's it, it's bullying behaviour, and it's using a platform to take advantage not only of um, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, but also of anyone out there who is troubled by mental health issues. Um, so here. Uh, the Duchess is leading the way, um, as indeed uh, Prince Harry and Prince William led the way earlier in discussing these very personal issues. Um, our society is a difficult society. We live in a vicious circle of intrigue and um, one-upmanship. It's not a place. Um, where one can always feel secure. Uh, and, uh, but it is a place, it is a place where, where one can always find and source friends and care. Uh, and we need to be ready to provide that to those who need it. Um, and, and to be genuinely there, not to be box ticking. Um, you, you know, uh, I, oh, I, 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 I'm so I'm so staggered by this story. Um, I think I'm probably going to leave it there, and uh, and and post this, and hope um, and 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 I hope you've got some interesting things to say. Please be careful. Please be kind, um, because this is a sensitive issue, and um, you, you know it's. Uh, and I'm sure there's more that we will learn this evening when we see the full interview. Um, I uh, personally, I'm very sorry that um, that Harry and Meghan have left um, the UK, um, and uh, but I'm very relieved to hear from one of Harry's friends who went on on air today um, that Harry um, retains a very good relationship with his grandmother, the Queen, um, and if there's somebody who uh, has the experience and the care to um, to put these things into proper perspective and to find um, a way of moving forward um, while maintaining dignity, that is Her Majesty. Um, I, I hope, I hope she will um, find a way of discreetly um, showing um, her support for Prince Harry and for the Duchess of Sussex at this particular time, um, because this was a brutal attack. Um, and it doesn't matter what sort of impact uh, the Sussexes may have thought their interview with Oprah Winfrey may have had. Uh, nobody, nobody um, should have to suffer uh, the level of abuse that um, we witnessed this morning on breakfast television. And as I say, it sets, it sends a signal um, to people watching that programme. It sends a signal that, um, that, that, that if, one, um, if one stands up and, uh, and, and says one has these serious mental health issues, one may not necessarily be taken um, seriously. One may not necessarily be believed. This is, this is, um, 
in my experience, um, thankfully, untrue. Um, but um, I have heard stories. Um, when somebody... Uh, we, we have to be ready. We have to be ready with care. And mental health is something which is so uh, subtle and so um, brittle. We cannot leave people waiting. Um, we need to be ready to support at the point when support is needed. This is why we practice um this this is why we practice sort of uh, friendship and um and and care in the community so that when it is needed we are there we respond instinctively um we don't process somebody um and uh, and waste a lot of time because during that time uh, awful things can happen we need we need to be ready and we need to be aware of the serious um, issue that is mental health. And I think today we in Britain um, have had a, um, a, a very, very sorry example of how to respond. Um, and uh, I hope proper apologies will be forthcoming. Um, I'm, not, I, I'm not only castigating um the um the person who 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 was broadcasting i'm also i i i'm 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 also seriously questioning the ethics of the television channel um which should immediately have taken steps to qualify um that response If you have any thoughts on this or any other issue that I'm, I've been discussing, um, please leave them below. Um, you know, I'm always interested to read what you've got to say and wherever possible, I will respond. Um, please, on this particular subject, please be kind um, because uh, this subject is much wider than the future of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. That, that, that really is the point. This is a subject about um, mental health and about the care of people who are um, looking over the abyss um, and who need to reach out. And we need to be sending um, the most acute signal that in all cases we are ready uh, to listen, to support, to care, to hug. In all cases.